What's up everyone, Mandy here from On The Grow, and today we're comparing two hydroponic nutrients from the same company on broccoli microgreens. So stay tuned for the video. Alright guys, today we are going to be doing a hydroponic nutrient experiment using two sister products from the same company, General Hydroponics. Starting over here, we have our Flora Grow, which we mix this at the two teaspoon per gallon ratio, which is somewhere between aggressive and mild. So we'll see what happens with this one. <laughs> now for the other product, this is going to be Maxi Grow, which we actually mix this at the lower dosage of one teaspoon per gallon of water. For this experiment, we chose to crop a Waltham 29 broccoli, which is actually a new one in our grow space. And the reason why we chose broccoli is because it is such an aggressive grower that we're really hoping to get some insane growth from both of these trays. Now, let's talk a little bit about what's going on in front of me. So here in front of me, we have four trays and all four of these trays have been seeded at 13 grams of seed per tray. They are all grown on the medium called Cocoa Core and they all went through the same blackout period, which was two days of wait and two days of blackout. Where we're at currently is these have actually already been in the light for one day and they've been bottom watered with the specified nutrients. So since we've already given these light and nutrients for one day, we are currently on day five and we're gonna to continue to do that from this point on. So what I'll be doing today, since our medium is still decently moist, I'm only gonna give this probably about one fourth cup of their nutrient and I'm gonna put them back on their shelf. And from this point forward, I'll be updating you guys along the growth and we'll see what's going on with these trays. Day six, Flora Grow versus Maxi Grow for broccoli. Today is day seven of our Floor Grow versus Maxi Grow Grow, and everything is looking awesome. Starting over here on my two Floor Grow trays, these trays are looking very consistent on both. I will say though that there is one little area right here that is a tiny bit lower than the other, and our cotyledons are kind of a mix for the most part. Some of them are really big in the front, and then towards the back, we got some that are a little bit smaller but I think everything else on this tray looks really good. Same with this next tray for the Flora Grow. It's pretty, it, I would say this one's actually a little bit more consistent than our first tray, except for this one little corner right here where we do have some small cotyledons. Taking a look at the color of both of these, I think the color of these are actually really good. I would say that they are very comparable to our two Maxi Grow trays, which we can now move into. <laughs> so looking at our two Maxi Grow trays, I'm noticing a lot of this light reflecting on to the crop so we're going to turn this off real quick now we can really see what's going on here starting with our first maxi grow tray i would say that this one is very comparable to our two flora grow trays they're all at about the same height the cotyledons kind of look the same to me and the coloration is pretty dang identical to the other ones but if you move on to our last maxi grow tray my brain just keeps thinking of that scene in despicable me where the little girl picks up the little uh, stuffed animal and she's like it's so fluffy because this tray is super full right now this has to be the best grower from first glance out of any of the trays and i can't wait to see what the weight is going to be on this because it looks insane. It has a perfect little mound, the cotyledons look great, and the colors look awesome on this tray. What we need to do is now go and harvest all four of these trays. That way we can take a closer look and see what's going on underneath and also so we can do flavor and the weight. So I'll see you guys here in a moment whenever we're done harvesting these. <laughs> Hey 
y'all. So I just finished harvesting all four of our trays, but before we get into it, be sure to smash that like button. It really does help our channel out tremendously. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and hit that little notification bell as well. And that way you get notified anytime we put out new videos. <laughs> so now let's go ahead and move into our harvest weights. So whenever I harvested these, I made sure to put them still in the same order that they were before. Starting on our two floor grow trays, our first tray got 137 grams and our second floor grow tray got 169 grams. That means that our average for these two trays was 153 grams. Now on to our two maxi grow trays. Our first maxi grow tray got 190 grams and our second maxi grow tray got 219 grams. Remember, that was a super fluffy one. Our average for these two trays was 204.5 grams. That means our maxi grow trays won because they had an average that was 50 grams higher than our flora grow trays. We have talked about the weights and it's now time to move into the appearance. Starting with our two flora grow trays. My first flora grow tray, I think this is a wonderful height for this broccoli. I do enjoy the color of the green on these cotyledons and the cotyledon size are actually really delicate and pretty. As for the stems, there's a very, very faint amount of purple on them. I would have liked a little bit more because on our second tray of Flora Grow, I am loving this purple that goes all the way throughout this stem. It really reminds me of purple sprouting broccoli, which was very interesting to see because I didn't know that was going to happen on other broccolis, but it is so pretty. Now the cotyledons are also a very, very nice size. I think the green is really good and the stem size of this is perfect. On to our two maxi grow trays. I think the height of these is actually really comparable to our first two trays, but the cotyledons are a lot bigger than we saw on our flora grow trays. The color is also very comparable to the flora grow. And when it comes to the stem coloration, I am seeing a pretty good amount of that purple in the stem here but not as much as I was seeing on that second flora grow tray. The second maxi grow tray, I would say this one's actually really comparable to our first maxi grow tray where we have a nice height. The color is really pretty on those cotyledons. And I think the cotyledons are kind of a mixture of small and big on this one. And the purple is very faint on this tray as well. By looking at these, I can already tell you exactly which one is my favorite. My favorite for appearance is this second floor grow tray. The reason is, is all that purple that I'm seeing throughout the stem is just so pretty. Now I didn't see this on the first group and I'm kind of curious why. I think it might be because this uh, second group was actually in the middle of the shelf. So it probably had something to do with the lighting on that one, but I'm still extremely happy with this. It is time to move in to the blind taste test. And for this, I think we actually don't need to cut any off because these are all basically the same height already. And what I need to do is grab our mask. All right, I'm blinded. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm excited to try this broccoli. We haven't had this one before. It was very light on flavor. It was like, um, whenever you eat broccoli, it tends to have a, at least with purple sprouting broccoli, it will have a ton of flavor that will usually hit your mouth. And this was, I thought that was going to happen. And then it kind of just didn't, but the flavor was good. It was just very, very mild. Mm. So that one had a little bit more crunch than our first group. Once again, though, the flavor was still um, kind of bland at first, but as I chew a little bit more, the flavor becomes a lot more uh, noticeable. That one had a nice crunch and a ton of that brassica broccoli flavor. That one's my favorite. And actually, I had a little bit of a spice to it there at the end. It was very mild, but it was there. Yeah, that one's my favorite. That one was almost identical to that last group I tasted. Crunchy, tons of flavor, slight spice at the end. 
I would almost guess that those two were either in the same group or on the same area of the shelf. What was your favorite? My favorite was a mixture of the last two I had. So that'd be three and four. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's hard to pick. One, two, three, four. Okay, so I did guess partially right because I said that they were either in the same group or on the same area of the shelf. And the two that I really enjoyed were both in the middle part of the shelf and not at the ends. Which also makes sense because that's where I saw a lot more of the color. I think we can call that a draw on that because they were pretty much identical to me in the flavor realm. So that means on our flavor, they both win because both of them had two trays that were really, really good and two trays that were kind of bland to me. So let's quickly recap everything so far. The winner of the weight was Maxi Grow. The winner of appearance actually was Flora Grow. See how we're bouncing back and forth here? <laughs> now the winner of flavor was actually a draw between the two because they both had equally two good trays and equally two that were just very boring. <laughs> if I had to pick a overall winner, I'm actually going to go with a floor grow. And the reason because is I really loved the purple I got from that one tray. Now that could have been where it was on the shelf and it's something we'll have to play around with a little bit more. But just from this test, I think that the floor grow tray was gorgeous. So let's talk about the added cost here. To use the Flora Grow, it cost us 32 cents per tray, whereas the Maxi Grow cost us 22 cents per tray. Now, the Maxi Grow did provide us with a higher yield, so it might be better to use Maxi Grow in this sense, but I just really loved the look that I got from our Flora Grow. Well, you guys, that is it for this experiment. I'm sure we're going to do a few more soon, and maybe also add in water to this mix and see how it compares there. But for now, we are done here today. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you dislike it, give it a thumbs down. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the section below. We also have a Facebook and an Instagram, which are both at OnTheGrow Farms. And we have a website that is www.onthegrow.net. Keep on believing, and I hope your stuff turns out good. <laughs>